Hey, I'm AJ. I'm Jeremy. And these are Extraordinary Times. Welcome back for our Tuesday episode of Extraordinary Times. <sighs> One of the few days we get tempted. <laughs> Indeed. All right. So, first story of today. <sighs> oh man, I don't know if you heard about the uh, hot air balloon that got lost a little bit back, but there's a a lot more story to it. I kind of looked at it earlier. Didn't think it was worthy until we found this out. Turns out he was hauling skydivers um, over uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Storm popped up real fast. Um, I know the type. He didn't really see it coming until they were halfway up in the air. Found a place for them to jump out, told them to jump out, which about a thousand pounds worth of people jumping out. Shot him up into the sky and uh, got him in the storm, and unfortunately he did not make it. But this man's a hero. I mean, sure he didn't see the storm coming, but not too many people did. But instead of just trying to save him with everybody, he saved everybody else without even thinking about himself. So, good man. Yes, good indeed. Man. All right, moving on to some world news. Uh, Sweden, being the uh, forward-thinking country it is, you know, first people to uh, issue banknotes, uh, and they're kind of renowned for, for banking, if I, if I know my Sweden right. Well, uh, apparently they're also now the first to move towards cashless banking uh, in everyday life, basically. Um, instead of, or the, like, well, their, their whole economy is basically no, no paper money at all. You know, uh, at least going to be, yes. <laughs> They're, they're, you know, vending machines and, and all kinds of things are, uh, I know, you told me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you more. Very technologically advanced. <laughs> and so, you know, if, if anyone's moving towards that, uh, that, uh, you know, wave your hand in it and it uh, dispenses stuff out of your, your bank account, and that's, you know, a good first step. Not too many people are exactly, uh, well, a lot of people are happy about it. Some aren't, simply because they don't like people tracking their cash, whatever, but whatever. Anyway, so uh, I just wanted to cover this little bit of news real fast, um, simply because it irks me. Um, so uh, Obama, President Obama's daughter, um, I believe it was, uh, was it Sasha or Malia? Malia, yes. I thought it was Malia. Anyway, um, went to Mexico for spring break. Now, you know, it seemed like, okay, you know, people go to spring break all the time. Except that the government recently came out and said, please don't go to Mexico on spring break because it's dangerous. <coughs> and sure, she had like 25 Secret Service personnel with her and her friends and blocked off the whole hotel, whatever. Doesn't matter to me, simply because... You think you'd be at least trying to uphold what your dad's work says. You know, it's basically saying, oh, yeah, you all can't, but uh, huh, I can. Uh, Pick it up. Thank you. Anyway, just kind of shows me how out of touch that family is. But, you know, we're not going to get into that. Oh, why not? We have the, the more fun Obama story later. Actually, kind of, kind of fun thing out of uh, D.C., there's a... <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's really, a, dude? Yeah, there's a uh, an author there by the name of, and it just did something David weird. Korn. David Korn. Uh, he's I, uh, an out of one of the anchors on MSNBC, because, you know, they're reliable. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> we never hear news from him. Anyway. But, but he, uh, he, he being a... Uh, uh, Respectable individual uh, put out a few books. One of them came out today. Not going to tell you the name because I don't really care. <laughs> but the important thing is he walked into the local Barnes and Noble where he lives in Washington, in Washington D.C. rather, and uh, started pitching a fit because apparently his book is going to be in every newspaper in America today and. It's very important that everyone sees it and there's no display here and how are they going to find it and blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, apparently they don't have people to, uh, you know, show them where the book is. 
I've uh, never even heard of this guy. I've yeah. never heard of his book. Yeah, he's put out five books, and we've never heard of him, ever. <laughs> I mean, Al Franken put out a, a book or two or three. I don't, I don't know how many he put out. I read one of them. It was kind of funny, but you know, he's more interesting than this guy. Anyways, uh, <laughs> evidently they, they are now going to, uh, you know, put up a display, whatever. They did. Back to, they uh, they to did put stuff, up a display. Yeah, and he says he didn't throw a fit, but uh, <laughs> I people witnesses, say otherwise. <laughs> Eyewitnesses say otherwise. Anyway, a little bit of news for arts people out there. Um, no. If you know anything about Van Gogh, this is good news, awesome news. And if you don't know anything about Van Gogh, look him up. Edu learn you some. <laughs> Become a little bit more cultured and, and, and just learn about the, the great man that is Van Gogh. Anyway, so over in the Netherlands, um, a museum has held a piece that for a while people thought was Van Gogh. Then there was a lot of doubt shed on it. Uh, scientists looked at it and said, okay, this is definitely a Van Gogh piece. Um, look at it. There's pictures in the article below. It's good. <laughs> yeah. It is uh, one of the, the better, I think, of Van Gogh's pieces. Well, it's the, it looks more like um, real. I guess yeah. Van Gogh. One one of the things I love Van Gogh about is that he actually he sees the world just a little bit differently and things just a little bit off, and and for me that's that's beautiful. It makes me happy. So, yeah, learn you some. Go check him out. Van Gogh is great. <sighs> and the fun news about Obama that that I wanted to talk about is you know there's for several years we there's been people joking or not really joking but uh kind of saying oh you know obama's been spending more than bush obama's been spending more than bush and uh for for those people today is a very very vindicating day because as of today um our national debt uh, as it increased under the bush presidency was 4.899 trillion dollars which is more money than i can conceive of um and now, uh, since President Obama took office three years ago, four, three and a half years ago, well, three, yeah, yeah three moving three on. years ago, four point nine three nine trillion. Um, That's more than Bush spent in his whole eight years fighting two wars. Surprise! Democratic spending is awful. Um, I don't know why we elected and, them. And as we've covered before, the recession is not really getting any better at all. Not even. I'm at sorry. All. Nothing that they've done has really done anything to help the economy. In fact, in my personal opinion, it slowed it down. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't even know what to say about about this because. It makes me so angry. <laughs> there's, there's, there's fewer things that frustrate me more than people thinking they know what to do and acting on what they think they know, and them really just having no clue and tearing things up. Yeah, and it totally just blowing up in their faces. And this is kind of blowing up in everyone's faces because it matters to everyone. Anyway, a little uh, ridiculous story out of New Hampshire. You know, just to, to continue the ridiculousness, just show that it can be on the, the small level as well as the large. Um, macro, micro. So over in New Hampshire, there's a woman that, uh, in a in condo, planted a, a flower box with her mother. Um, her mother passed away eventually, and then the uh, <laughs> condo board decided they didn't want it there. The new condo board. Because right. this this woman actually has been a part of the condo since they were built in 08, if I'm reading it right. And uh, the builder said it was fine to plant. And now the new uh, homeowners association, if uh, to use a common term, uh, says no. And are charging her $50 every, what, day? Day. Every day. That she doesn't take it down. And so, yeah, they're having a big battle. And anyway, I hope this gets bigger than it already is. Because they're saying they want every condo to look the same. I've never <sighs> understood that. Yeah. You know, a little individualism goes a long way to make things actually seem better. 
uh, yeah. in, in uh, a condo, an apartment, anything. You know, yeah, it's in a neighborhood, diversity makes it pretty great. I was wondering, America's great. You know, anyways. <sighs> Last little story for the day. Last great, great story of the day. Really good in, uh, uh, information coming out. And um, Albert Einstein's papers, like everything from note card to his general theory of relativity, is getting posted online. Um, They're taking high res pictures of it and putting it online from the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, who own apparently all of his research notes and everything he ever wrote, basically. Go figure. Huh. Yeah. Great point for all intelligence and worldwide, just to be able to share that with everybody. I think one of the best points, though, they, and they make in there, one of the, the papers that Albert Einstein wrote, um, he actually came up with a few ideas for peace in the Middle East. You know, it was bad back then, too. And uh, he couldn't actually find one that he thought would work. So, greatest mind of our time. We couldn't solve a problem that's been plaguing us for thousands of years and will probably plague us for a thousand more. You know? Yeah, it just kind of shows you exactly what the situation is like over there. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, send us your stories, all things extraordinary at gmail.com. You'll see it in a second. That's AJ. That's Jeremy. And these are extraordinary times. Be aware. Boom!